<laughs> Stop with the Explorer Kerbin, you fool. Um, rescue Lola from Orbit of the Moon. They, 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 they're giving us good money to rescue Lola. So here's the plan. We're gonna rescue Lola. And we're gonna have Lola plant a flag on the moon. This is what we're gonna do. So there is a maximum mass for the spark in where the spark engine is more beneficial than the terrier engine. Let's get the vacuum. You can see right now terrier is uh, 1440 and then if we put the spark engine here it's better. Right? But if we've got our landing tanks, which one is going to be better? So this says uh, 2969. It's still the spark engine that's better. Gotta watch out for the thrust to weight ratio though. But there's a point where the terrier becomes the better of the two. I still probably want the terrier on here because it'll be easier to slow down and if we land on it, it might be a little bit more stable, but hmm. Spark is not a bad choice. And and also if you use a spark engine, actually they made it a little bit heavier than it used to be. Um, you know, it's less mass for the rest of the stack to carry. I guess we'll go with the spark this time. I'm worried about part count. We've we still got the limit of 30. But ultimately, I think using just one launch clamp like we did for the previous launches with the basic system, that'll have to happen. Okay. To cut it down to 30, we're going to get those off. We'll have one antenna. Have it like this. Let's try and keep it stable, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that'll cause the engines to blow up. Rescue and then landing and then return. Okay, let's see if it can be done. Smurf 3. Nobody better be inside. Jab. <laughs> Leaning tower of rocket. Whoa, shaky business. Throttle up and launch. That uh, the I you know I think I should use auto strutting on this because it's balancing on that that spark engine. This is the first time I'm using auto strutting in the course of this particular series. There you are. Play Mass Effect? Yeah. I don't I might have those texture packs already though. I might have already played it with those texture packs, because um the those fan made texture packs came out in 2017. I still have to finish Mass Effect 3 though. I find that not many people watch the you know, story-based games though, because they either already know the story or they want to play it themselves. It's not like Kerbal Space Program where you don't know what's gonna happen. On the bottom end, we're probably gonna... that's pretty close to where the atmosphere is, so let's, let's boost that up a bit. Okay, so more like over... I mean, the KSC's gonna come around there, so we should be able to have communication there. Okay, that should do the trick. And then... Oh, wrong way around. But we're probably gonna lose communication on the back end. So we'll capture first. We could probably, I mean, we could do the whole thing in one go. And just do a radial thing, and but that'll probably cost a lot. Let's see. Then again, this stage has plenty, and then we have all the stuff for landing, too. Well, we don't want to match it perfectly, because we need to rendezvous with it. It's not getting into a satellite for an orbit contract. It's not going to be a big difference. How much is this burn? It's pretty big, actually. Okay, maybe I don't like that. That's too much. Let's see how far our communication line stretches. 
Hmm. A little bit problematic. Start earlier rather than later. Hopefully we'll maintain. We may be able to bounce the signal off of Prawn and around the Minmus. Nope. Nope, we can't. And we're probably gonna overburn. Gosh darn it. Dang it, Prawn! Prawn is no help. It's uh, It's got relay antennae, but... Yeah, this is gonna suck. <laughs> it's not gonna be unrecoverable, it's just gonna suck. That's gonna be a very fast transit. One hour to the moon! That's not gonna be good for slowing down. Of course, you're not gonna let me do anything. Uh, just, just out of amusement. I wanna see how much it would take to slow down around the moon given that approach. 1,882 meters per second in order to make orbit, if you try that. So don't do that. Don't, don't overburn. You must retro burn immediately. Do not try and go to the moon quickly. It's a bad idea. Okay, that's probably... I've probably done too much already. I think we're gonna... I don't know if we can do a landing like this. Oh my god. Look at all these orbits. That's 800 right there. Yeah. Well, we can do it. As soon as I said stock was bloody easy compared to realism overhaul, I've started sucking. This is this is a lesson, not this hubris right here. Complacency. Well, Lola can't say we didn't rush to get to her. <laughs> or him. Oh, nine seconds only. Oops. Ah, uh, I was too late. I was way too late. Ah, uh, gosh darn it. Lola! Come back! Oh yeah, uh, there'll be a new encounter. No, I'm not gonna burn directly for it, but we have to capture into orbit and correct our inclination and do all sorts of stuff first, too. So, um, you know, we're retro burning anyway. Most of this is the retro burn because we got here way too quickly. I can switch to just retro, but I think, yeah, well, we can just switch to retro. The tech tree, you mean? Oh, no, that tree. Maybe tomorrow. I'm feeling like my, my skills have been waning today. To probably start fresh. We'll do planes tomorrow, I think. Uh, drifting away is fine. Alright. Alright, Lola. Pop on out, please. Another scientist. Be still my heart. Yeah, we'll just have an airplane day tomorrow, I think. Or try to. See if that works out for us. Okay. We will exit. Going... Going around this way. Up. Oh, go. Lola can't remove the maneuver node? Jeez. Okay, whatever. Oh no! No electric charge again. Um, oh god, we're in trouble. Because this engine doesn't... Does gimbal. Oh, okay. We're safe. That's a little bit low on the periapsis, but we'll deal with that in a moment. Hmm... I don't think we can slow down before hitting the atmosphere right now, so let's just uh, check staging, get rid of the service module thingy, and get retrograde. And let's get that antenna in before it breaks up. Issues? Well, you know, it's not as bad as Earth, so... <laughs> Still mild as far as I'm concerned. And then it blows up. 
Let me not jinx myself, please. Uh, the 4,000 is just a, you know, estimate for relatively low thrust weight ratio rockets. Um, and that's vacuum delta V, okay? Always set it to vacuum delta V. Sometimes you'll see people quote different things um, because they're using a mix of surface and vacuum delta V, so their numbers will be smaller. Uh, realism Earth orbit 9,500 and again that's an estimate. It can go as low as 8,600 and as high as 10,000. 9,500 though is about the normal estimate. The see, you see there's uh, shaky textures on the surface. I know the, it's an issue that's already been reported. Um, but this is our backstory that they have to get off of Kerbin because of this these earthquakes. So. I think it's high time for me to send some commsats up. Uh, let's let's not have any more of this nonsense. We need a commsat pack. That would, but we need a stack separator. But I don't think we have one, do we? Yes, we do. All right. Editor extensions. I've never used editor extensions actually. Oh, part part count. Gosh darn it, Al. We'll have one around the Earth. I mean. Gribbon, and one around the moon. Feel like we need fins, but I mean it's tall-ish. How many parts? Uh, we can do four. Oh wait, let's do three <laughs> because I want two launch clamps. Current progress. Um, we landed a Kerbal on the moon. We've rescued a couple of Kerbals. We did a flyby of Minmus. We're very early on in the career mode. And um, we are launching some commsats, one around Kerbin, one around the the moon. We've already got a commsat around Minmus. We'll wait until daylight. So very early on, um, the default uh, contract settings, it's all hard, except I did indestructible facilities and plasma blackout and a few other things. Uh, G4 stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I landed on Minmus, but the moon is making you struggle. Um, what, what about the moon is making you struggle? Yeah. Um, what particular part? Okay, throttle up. SAS is on and launch. It's just landing. You gotta give yourself a little bit of room for landing. Oh, get home. Yeah, I, I'm very generous early on with the estimates. Uh, don't believe the... Yeah, don't believe the little charts. They're like the optimal situation if you do it perfectly. A lot of Delta V maps tend to be very optimistic. Um, so I budget, you know, for a pinpoint landing, I budget uh, 1,000 to land and 800 to take off and then 300 to return. So that's 2,100 for once you're in moon orbit, what you need to do. Um, 1,400, like uh, Dollar Roo says, is like the mathematical minimum. 1,800 to 2,000 after you've got some practice. And, uh, yeah, uh, getting to the moon, so working backwards, let's say 2,000, working backwards, you're going to need uh, 300 to make orbit around the moon, so that's 2,300, and then 900 to get to the moon, so that's 3,200, and then what you need to get into orbit around Kerbin. So it's after you get into orbit around Kerbin, 3,200. I've gone too steep. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes, no, hold. 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 Hold, don't flip. Don't flip. And yeah, fairing's off. Oh god, no. No clamshells. Uh, you better not have busted anything. What, why is that? The fins explode? Hold on, did it bust anything? Doesn't say that I busted anything on the commsats. Stupid clamshell fairings. I 
I didn't know these basic fins overheated. Yeah, Delta V-wise, it's easier. Much easier. For Mimus. Um, as long as you know how to play your inclinations right. A moon mission is like 8,000 altogether. But, uh, you know, on the right side, you're just not Earth's moon. Earth's moon, you need 20,000 altogether, incidentally. Okay, we're gonna have to use the probe's fuel. At least we deorbited that st separator right there. Oh, I own. Oh, these. It. Oh. They broke off on this side because of that stupid fairing. So where do we pick up uh, comms again? Well, and the contracts make you do moon first, right? I got the moon contract before I got the Minmus contract. So, um, normal geosynchronous altitude is 2,868 kilometers. Hmm. If I keep doing this, this satellite is not going to be able to circularize at geosyn geosynchronous orbit. Uh, we have to separate them. And we need to definitely get the antennae out. So this one wants to go over to the moon. Let's just keep it steady, make sure it's going to recharge, and we'll wait on that. And then this one needs to do the circularization at geosynchronous. We'll have it go around again and burn at periapsis. At least it's not imbalanced because of the loss of that antenna. That would be very irritating. Actually, it gives it more style this way. <laughs> okay, that's 2868. It will coast up. Oh, physical time warp a bit. Don't know if this is the best location to circularize its orbit over. Where where is the worst patch for communications around Kerbin exactly? I don't know if there's a whole lot over here, so maybe it's a good place. Just behind the KSC. Extra radio stations? I think there's a difficulty setting. Hold on. Um Let's enable comm network. Enable extra ground stations right here. So I guess I'll tell you what my settings are. You can see science reward 60, funds 60, reputation 60, penalties are 200, decline penalty 3, reentry heating is just 100%, no reversion, no quick loading, no missing cruise respond, no auto hire, indestructible facilities, allow other launch sites, uh, level up immediately, allow negative funds. Uh, part pressure limits, g-force limits, um, obeying rules, re uh, require signal, plasma blackout, there's the range modifier and there's one for everything else. And Well, that's what the hard setting was. Enable extra ground stations. So, anyway, there you go. I'm sure somebody's, uh, some of those pro YouTuber people do like 10% science or something crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm... Not that level. Anyway. Okay, we want to get over to the moon with this one. We might as well put it in sort of an inclined orbit if we can. But... No, that's not that bad. I'd like to incline it more though. Got the fuel. And we might as well keep it loose. So that it's not blocked by the moon so much. Oh, not that loose. And we've got 2,453, and that'll be a trivial amount right there, I think. 5,500? Such science from in this. See, that's Earth's problem. Earth's problem is that we don't have a Minmus. Bloody Martians had all the luck. And what did they do with it? Squandered it.
They had two Minmuses. <laughs> you know, if there's any justice in the world, we would bring one of one of uh, Mars's Minmuses back home with us. Okay, this is not going quite the way I wanted to, but all right. And I think we should bring back Phobos because it's gonna crash into Mars anyway. That's a waste of a Minmus. Okay, we'll do a mid-course adjustment. The southern part might be bad off on this side. No, let's just round it out, maybe. Or, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. It'll be something. It'll be helpful. It's not perfect, but it's helpful. In pursuit of science points? Well, I mean... I'm not big on milking science myself. I like to... Uh, I mean, it depends. I like to just go in steady stages, improving my systems gradually, rather than like trying to get every science point every time. So we have one commsat around Minmus, one around the moon, and one in geosynchronous orbit. And that's what we'll go with, but they're not they don't have Duna level antennae. They're just facilitating Kerbin SOI communications right now. Okay, that should be good for power. Alright. I think that'll do it for me today. So tomorrow we'll uh, work on planes. I don't know. Let's check the tech tree quickly. I don't know if I have enough science for plane things. We might have to do a Minma science mission first and then do the plane things. I can get this aviation at least. But that's not gonna let us go quickly. We can start off with that. Maybe we can get some science from Kerbin itself to facilitate, but then we still need to unlock the... If we want to get more airplane parts, we're gonna need to get on with the R&D building upgrade, which we have sort of enough money for, but it's a little bit tight right now. So I'm not going to rush on that. So I'm going to pause the music right now there. And so that's the situation. We need a little bit more funding for the R&D building upgrade. We need to gather some science for the really good airplane parts, but we can start with airplane stuff. We'll see what we can do. All right. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.